Dean, thank you for joining me. On the whole, how do you feel the last few games have gone? I've been happy with our performances, apart from obviously last Saturday, but Halifax away, I thought we performed really well, deserved something out of the game. Uh, excellent against Dover, uh, outstanding performance, and then Boreham Wood was a great performance as well, really. Um, so we just <coughs> we just dropped our guard really last weekend. Um, I spoke about that already, but you know it's a fresh week, and uh, we'll move on to the next game, and we're looking forward to tomorrow's challenge. So as you say, we visit York Road tomorrow for what will be a really tough test given Maidenhead's resurgence since we played them home this season. What are you expecting from them? I've said this all along. Yeah, Alan Devonshire's teams, he knows this division inside out. Uh, very robust, very well organised. Walked our socks off, got good pace with Kelly in the front line. Uh, Alan Massey organises them a centre back. Uh, they brought in an experienced goalkeeper as well now from Boreham Wood, uh, Ashmore. So it's going to be a tough game and they've had some good results of late as well. So... Um, I think it's important we go there and, and, and make sure we try not get beat first and foremost and see where, the, see where that game plan takes us. We come off the back of a disappointing 2-0 loss against Woking last weekend. What have you been saying to the players to get their heads in the right place and what's this week been like in training? I've said to the players, I've been honest with them. Um, you know, an honest assessment really of the whole season. Um, we've done individuals with the players this week and we've done a collective meeting as well, both ways. Uh, the players had a few things to say as well. So... Um, you have to look at yourself as well too, you know. Really, still didn't make great substitutions last week, um, so I'm always uh, self-critical to be honest with you. But I just said to the players, the biggest thing last week disappointed me is that we gave in a little bit. That's frustrating me. Even though we didn't play great, we just can't afford to give in, and we did that last week. And uh, hopefully, we won't do that tomorrow. And I expect us to have a better performance. Let's talk about Ryan de Havilland. You name checked him after the game last week, and I just wanted you to expand on how you think he's getting on as a player and if he's hitting the targets you've set for him. Yeah, he's developing nicely. He's actually ahead of schedule. The plan was to bring Ryan back in in the first team fold in pre season, uh, in, in the new season, um, and he's ahead, really. He's worked on his physique, which he had to do. He's, he was quite a slight lad, and he's, he, you know, he reads the game really well, got good brain. Uh, excellent energy levels, excellent fitness levels. He's technically strong, um, both footed. So the, the next step for Ryan now is to start scoring goals and, and creating some more goals. That's the next step for him. Uh, funny enough for him, at the minute he's injured, so he's he's not available this weekend. So, but yeah, we're, we're happy with his progress. We talk about minimum requirements. And what's been a strength you've been able to rely on in our last few games? Togetherness. You know, that's a massive word for me. Um, it's sort of the first thing I look for uh, in, a, in a group of players. Togetherness, hard work, just honesty for themselves and their families. They've got to give that. And the rest of it's sort of a bonus. Talent is sort of like fourth or fifth down the line. Um, you know, if you run hard on the opposition, like the great Man United sides did over the years and stuff like that, you know, you have success. Um, if you look at the two sides at the top of the, the Premier League at the minute, they work the hardest. So it's, for me, it's just all about hard work. We won 3 0 back in December when the Magpies visited the Hive London. Since then, they've only lost six of their last 18 games with victories over the likes of Bromley, Chesterfield and Halifax. It would be lovely to take six points off of them tomorrow, but it's no easy task given their current form. I think when they come to us last time, they had COVID. They were just off the back of COVID, so we played them at a nice time for us. Um, and it was a great performance on the day. I thought we were excellent, but we're going to have to get to that standard again. That's the standard we need to get to. Um, and it won't be easy. It's a tough place to go. It's not. Um, let's be honest, Maidenhead. You know, they, Dev does an unbelievable job. But it's not like it's not like coming to the higher facility was tough place to play. Hill on the pitch. They play the pitch really well. And like I say, they're a really tough side. They're a seasoned side in this division. They've been in it the last four or five years. So um, it'll be a tough test, but we're more looking forward to. It. So how are the players doing, and have you got any updates on injuries? Yeah, uh, Aston Oxford is definitely out, which is a bit of a whammy for us. Uh, he took a, an awful bang in the face last Friday, um, so he's been out since then. Um, so we're just monitoring him day by day. Um, who else is out for us? We have uh, Marshall's out. He's out with Achilles injury, so we've just got too many out again once again. Daniel Powell's back available for selection. He's been off a flu. Um, so yeah, so just, uh, Ryan de Havilland's not available, so we've just got a few that ideally we'd want available to us, but look, all the lads are getting an opportunity and they've got to grasp it, and that's what I said last week, especially the young lads, this is their opportunity, they've got to grab it with both hands, you know, you can't, in life you've got to grab your opportunity when it comes along and hopefully the players will do that tomorrow. Other than 100% effort and fingers crossed a victory, what are you looking for from the team tomorrow? I think we've got to use the ball better. 
uh, last week. Our pitch was poor last week, so we didn't really use the ball well. It was very bouncy and bobbly against a, a big physical side in Woking, but we got past the ball much better than what we did last week, and our availability, uh, availability's got to be better. We want people brave, they've got to get on the ball within this game, but we have to match their walk rate as well, and we have to outwalk the opposition, and if we do that, and uh, when opportunities come along, if we can take them, um, hopefully we'll have a good day. And finally, have you got a message for the travelling B army? Yeah, looking forward to seeing them get behind the boys and hopefully we can give them something to sing about. And you know, Sometimes when the sun comes out like it does this week, people can sort of get in holiday mode. We don't want that. Uh, we want to make sure we give our support something to really sing about. And uh, You only do that by winning football matches. Thanks for your time. Cheers.